from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, slightly drier, more stable air should be moving into the area over the next day or so, and that's going to reduce the rain chances a little bit uh, tomorrow, even more so Thursday. But by Friday, that frontal trough off to our north and west might ignite some storms. So let's get to the weather wall and kind of show you the big picture. Overall, it looks like dry air was in place before storms kicked in this afternoon, but you always have to check with water vapor imagery, not only the dryness, uh, but some of the colder air aloft that could allow for showers and storms. And we're getting... Uh, uh, that uh, light flow aloft that uh, is uh, engendering some thunderstorm activity. But tomorrow it should be a little bit more stable across the area. Thus, it should get hotter. Today's high 95, tomorrow 98. Uh, 78 days, by the way, of 95 or better uh, temperatures this summer. And today was day 91 or 2, don't hold me to it, of consecutive days above 90 degrees. Since June 7th, Every day since then has been above 90 degrees. The old record was 58, and we're in the 90s on 90 degree days, and still counting some more in the next 10. Relatively quiet across the area this evening, and as we take a look at the Doppler radar, let's put it in motion over a 12 hour span. And this is what you can do when you own your own radar and have your own radar at your service. You can show those showers and storms going back a while. And uh, today was a day where we saw scattered activity. Lafayette got some heavy downpours. We got it here at the station pretty good and some folks getting what they need, others not nearly enough, and that's most of us. But nonetheless, it's been a start with scattered storms in the area going back through the weekend and over the last couple of days. But as we look at the Gulf of Mexico, pretty much clean in the Gulf, very hot Gulf as well. Caribbean also quiet, but out in the Atlantic, still busy. We have three systems we're watching. One that's come off the African coast, that's going to develop, but we're not uh, too concerned with that. And we'll be watching Tropical Storm Lee, though. Lee getting better or organized on satellite imagery and up to a 50 mile per hour tropical storm and it'll probably by this time tomorrow night it's probably going to be well into category one hurricane status and it's going to go through rapid intensification cycles thereafter so 50 mile per hour winds pressure down to 1003 these are all satellite estimates once we get hurricane hunters in there it's still too far out in the Atlantic for hurricane hunters to check it out that's going to give us better data and also a better forecast but right now the forecast is rather ominous a uh, hurricane center bringing this up to 150 mile per hour storm as we head into this weekend and the models are saying no there's probably more this may have category 5 potential so it's going to go through a rapid intensification cycle or maybe several we're hoping it stays north and east of the Caribbean but the track is a little bit farther southwest now and as we look at the hurricane models extending beyond five days we do think it's going to make a turn to the north and we don't think it's going to be a gulf threat uh, but Notice the late models, these 18Z models that have it closer to, uh, say, the Turks, Caicos, and the Bahamas before it makes the turn. So the East Coast is going to be watching this one. Bermuda is going to be watching this one. This is going to be one big bad boy in the, in the name of Lee. So let's take a look at the European Moisture Channel here. And again, we can see um, not much change here. You can see overtly what's going on with uh, Lee and watch the way it bombs out there. Meanwhile, we have drier air in the region and as we get into next week and that's going to make it feel better at night but we're still going to be in the mid to upper 90s during the day and then hopefully uh, Lee making its turn before it threatens any of the Bahamas uh, and Bermuda again watching it and not out of the mix is New England and perhaps the Canadian Maritimes for us it's quiet tomorrow morning mid to upper 70s then tomorrow afternoon a few showers and thunder showers it looks a little bit more than what we're probably going to have so we'll go 20% for tomorrow and then as we head into Thursday should be a drier day overall, but this model shows some activity in the afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 90s to low 100s, and then we move into Friday, and this is going to be the trend going into the weekend. We're going to try to establish a northerly flow aloft, so we're going to see some storms again Friday afternoon more than likely, and uh, with that, uh, drier air beginning to work its way into the region as we head into the weekend early next week. Lower 70s overnight tonight, mid 70s I-10 quarter, Lafayette Lake Charles being the warmest, and 81 down and Cameron by the water. It doesn't cool off much there at night. 
Mid 90s, the high tomorrow. Mid to upper 90s, I 10 quarter. Just depends on when you see your shower or storm. The earlier they kick in, the closer you'll be in the mid 90s. But if, if it's after 3, 4 o'clock, you're going to hit 98, perhaps 99 degrees. So net 77, the low for tonight should be a quiet one. Then for tomorrow, we'll get it up to 98 for a high. Once again, the risk of an afternoon, late afternoon shower or storm. You can see by our sky cover, you see some of the clouds darkening up later in the afternoon into the early evening hours, and that's when we think we might see a shower or thunder shower. 101 on Thursday, not done with those hundreds on yet. Uh, Friday, 100 degrees as well, but we'll see storms later in the afternoon into the evening. They may linger into early Saturday, and then we're going to have a nice dry pattern, but highs still in the mid 90s. But look at those lows, upper 60s, lower 70s for a few nights. An improvement. And, you know, <laughs> just small increments. Yeah. That's all we're doing. Very good. One day That's at a time. Right. Thank you, Robin.